push right now for government to take on board the idea of a floating dock in Georgetown. Team at 27's Tammy Suleman takes us to the site of the proposed finger prayer for cruise ships and tells us why two local businessmen do not want government to go full steam ahead until all options are considered. These men think a movable dock is the right idea for the Cayman Islands cruise ship industry. I think every Caymanian needs to realize that uh, we have one chance. While we've talked about this for a long time, we have one chance to get it right. That's the man floating the plan, local businessman Reginald Choppy de la Pena. He says he knows government's timeline is tight, but wants it to seriously consider his proposal. We're not um, looking at an, an, an expansive discussion either, but in that we're into the study, why not consider uh, this option? The study Mr. De La Pen is talking about is an environmental impact assessment that dredging a two-finger pier in this area will have. Government signed a $2.5 million contract to get the EIA done. But architect Burns Connolly thinks dredging will be detrimental. Once you deepen that area, we're going to get much bigger waves. They're going to be directed by the, by the piers which are facing northwest into town, we think that's going to be a bad, bad situation. He says not to mention the damage to the coral reef. The amount of dredging will, will tear up all of the reefs, all of the inner reefs, from Cheeseburger Reef here all the way to Eden Rock. Mr. De La Pena brought these men from the Netherlands to see if the retrofitted barge idea could sail here. They built one recently in Abu Dhabi, though not for cruise ships. We need to have all this data to start uh, reasonable engineering first so we do a reality check first over here and that's why we are here actually they think it can happen but there's one wave to overcome so, of course the, the, the hurricanes and uh, that's I think the, the, the biggest challenge but they say with the right engineering the dock should stay afloat and be easy to take out of the water if needed for mr. De La Pena, government needs to look at all of the options on the table we will not have the, the opportunity to go back and fix it Tommy Suleiman, Cayman 27. Mr. De La Pena believes the floating dock will take about 9 to 12 months to build. He also says it may cost around $100 million or half of what government is proposing. We've asked government whether it is considering the option and have not heard back as of yet. Coming up on 27 tonight, Mr. De La Pena discusses his chief concern with dredging a two-finger pier, the impact to business during construction.